Welcome back. This is an exercise tutorial, and we're going to practice some of the new skills we've learned since our last exercise. Let's start with a sketch on the front plane. Now let's place a center line. Right click and select to close the tool. Now a line. Let me just pan down a little bit. And I'm going to create a profile with the line tool. Something like this. OK, let's close the profile, right click and select. Now let's apply some dimensions. This line will be 200 millimeters. OK. This one, let's make 50 millimeters. OK. By the way, we're also able to apply diameter dimensions. Let me delete the 50 millimeter dimension. Now let's select this point and my center line. If I place the dimension on the right side of the center line, it's going to be a radius dimension. If I place it on the left side, I end up with a diameter dimension. OK. Now let me do this line. Let's say 120 millimeters, except this distance here will be 140 millimeters. And looks like we need to apply at least one more dimension here. Yes. OK, 40 millimeters for this line. And accept. Our sketch appears in black line and is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Now activate the Revolve Boss Base command. Our axis of revolution is already pre selected. We'll use a blind revolve type of 360 degrees and accept. You can see where I'm going with this model. Let's apply a fillet now of 20 millimeters in radius. This edge as well. Let's click apply. Let's create another fillet, 5 millimeters in radius, applied to this edge. Apply and cancel out of the fillet expert. Let's create a shell now. Wall thickness, 2 millimeters. Now we specify faces to remove. Show preview, let's check it. And OK. And here we have our bottle. Let's create a new part document now. New. OK. And let's insert a sketch on the front plane. My first action will be to place a center line. Now I'll create a profile. And I'll do that with the line tool. OK, let's close my profile. Right click and select to exit the line tool. Let's apply some dimensions now. Activate Smart Dimension. I'm going to select this point. Let's make this dimension 40 millimeters. This diameter will be 60 millimeters. OK. And this dimension, 110 millimeters. OK. The radius of this arc, 10 millimeters. OK. And this line, the overall height, will be 60 millimeters. OK. This distance, let's say 30 millimeters. And let's exit the dimension tool with a right click select. Let's apply some relations now. I'm going to shift select these two lines and add a collinear relation. It looks like I've got some extra geometry here. Let's select and delete it. Now shift select this point in the origin point and add a horizontal relation. Oops, I missed it. Let's try that selection again. Let's get this point and the origin point and apply a horizontal relation. And now our sketch is fully defined in black line. Let's exit. Activate the Revolve Boss command. Once again, the axis of revolution is pre selected. That's what's pre selected. Revolve type is blind, 360 degrees. Let's accept. Let's create one more part document now. OK. And I'll begin by inserting a sketch on the top plane. Let's create a rectangle using the center method. And shift select to close the tool. Let's shift select these two lines and add an equal relation. Smart dimension, 100 millimeters. OK. And let's exit this sketch. Let's take an isometric view. And then we'll activate the extruded boss base command. 
Let's create a 200 millimeter extrusion and click OK. Zoom to fit. Let's create a second sketch on the front plane. Take a normal two view. And first I'm going to create a center line. And now a profile using the line tool. Close the profile and right click and select to close the tool. Let's hide sketch relations so I can better see what's going on here. As you see, I've got a gap right here. I'm going to drag my point under this point. The coincident relation glyph appears. Now I'm going to shift select these two lines and I'll add a tangent relation. Let's apply some dimensions now. Smart dimension, 160 millimeters. Okay. And 100 millimeters here. Okay. For the radius, let's make it 50 millimeters. Okay. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's exit and take an isometric view. Let's activate the Revolved Cut command. Once again, the axis is already pre-selected. We'll use the blind type of Revolve at 360 degrees. And let's click OK. Now once again, if you want to test different axes of revolution, you can. OK. And this concludes exercise lesson 41.